All right, so just a quick little uh, demonstration or discussion around the tapered beam and world of beams objects. Um, so recently I've had some queries. You can find the command here under the home ribbon. You can see we have different types of tapered beams and essentially the last ones, except for, all except for the first one, they're all made up of multiple beams to form that different shape or that different object. And the first one um, is made up of multiple plates. So the first one that you see here is this one just here. Um, and you can see it has lots of welds attached to it with the welding dis um, no nodes displayed on each object. And you can see that you can find the definition of the length of each segment, what the height is, what the width is, and so on and so forth. But we're not here to talk about the, the creation of these objects today. Um, you can see when you look at this particular beam, you can see it's quite different in that it's predefined in its shape and there's two different sizes. Uh, two, two different uh, options, so obviously if you define this one, you're also defining that one, and vice versa as you're defining this object number two, you're defining the top flange as well. Um, if we look at the third one and look at sections again, same sort of scenario, different configuration, again, giving you that understanding of how this has worked. Now, what people have been asking Christians about is, how to manipulate these objects and how to affect the numbering of these objects for detailing purposes. So it's important to remember that the objects at the moment are composite objects. Okay. Now by default, in every one of these composite objects, we have both a display type of complete and separate and a behavior for bombs, drawings and numbering of essentially the same setting in here. It's called one beam and separated beams as opposed to separated and complete. So essentially the two different um, elements are the same. Now, at the moment, if I try and pick on that plate, nothing happens. However, if I change my display type to be separated, I can now pick on that individual plate itself. You notice I can't grab any of the grips. But what I can do now is I can go and cut holes in there or put back cuts or whatever on it and it doesn't affect the actual beam. And I can just keep grabbing this beam and stretching and manipulating it. And I've still got that same component, even though you can see when I click on the plate itself, it's still the individual component. Or if I go back and double click on that blue line, which is the composite, you'll notice I get the properties of that complete beam. Now, if I change the display pipe back to complete, you'll see it goes back to where it was before. And the same thing happens with these guys. So if I change the display type here to be separated, the color doesn't change, but that's because they're beams. But you can see that the beams here themselves are separated. It means if I want to put a back cut on this flat bar, I could just come in here, come and choose to make a back cut on the end of that object. And you can see now I've put a back cut individual of that object, which then no longer gets, um, you can see then stays continuous to the end of that beam, giving you uh, complete control of that object without having to explode it down to individual components. Now, obviously we can do that if we want to. So um, there is a disassemble button here, um, which allows me to grab this beam here. And now it's like exploding it down to its individual beams. But understand that this is a permanent scenario. There's no undoing here or going back. Um, once you've exploded it, you've exploded it, okay? So the other part to look at is the numbering. So if I go and number this particular model here, and let's just do the part numbering here in this case, I'm just gonna ignore the assembly numbering and I pick OK, and we go to our part numbering results. You can see I've got a whole bunch of objects in here with the negative number next to them, right? Because they're totally ignored. Any, any part with a negative number is ignored and all the components that have got numbers are the ones that are numbered. So essentially, one beam and two beam is what has been numbered. But if I change the, the behavior of this object to be separated, and change this one behavior to be separated, and then we run our numbering again, you'll see the numbering results are totally different. The two compound beams are now ignored, and so the blue lines in this case are ignored, and the rest are numbered accordingly. So depending on whether you want to fabricate or whether you just want to uh, call the beam up as a standard length, because you're going to buy it off the shelf, you would use the different components 
uh, the different settings individually. All right, I hope that makes sense. Merry Christmas, everyone.